Welcome to the Raven Space, and today we're gonna play All Pro by Heck No with ESPN First Take. Let's go. Sausage, finna run a boss, dripping like a boss. Haters get a ball, swing and be stunt. I don't do it often, boy, I'm sick. Excuse my coughing. How you guys doing? Remember to subscribe to the channel, it helps us grow. We appreciate you. Um, again, we're excited. Today we're gonna do All Pro or Hell No with ESPN First Take. Today's topic is will Lamar Jackson lead the Ravens to a playoff run? Let's get it popping. He's sixth best quarterback in the conference. Mm -hmm. They don't have a big receiver. Oh, got to stop it already, right? He said that the si he, Lamar Jackson is the sixth best quarterback in the conference is a flat out lie. I'm sorry, we're already on a bad start. Um, what quarterbacks are objectively better than Lamar Jackson, right? If I'm thinking of the AFC right now, you have Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. Every other quarterback is not objectively better. Uh, again, Joe Burrow had a, a good year and his good year happened to be the one where Lamar Jackson's players were all hurt and then he got hurt. Remember, halfway through the year, the Ravens were in first place in the AFC. Don't forget listen, don't forget that. Right? We were 8 and 3. Don't forget that. Lamar Jackson carried us. Okay, Joe, Bur Joe Burrow also has a all-world uh receiver, one of the best number 2 receivers in the league. And he also has one of, uh, of the best tight ends in the league from an athletic uh, perspective. So we can't even take that. The quarterback who plays for the Chargers, again, had a good year before, but then last year had a great year. But again, has a much better supporting cast than Lamar Jackson has when it comes to throwing the football. Um, Russell Wilson hasn't had a great year in a, a, a while. Um, you know, the Seahawks haven't been good, and now he's on the Broncos. So uh, again, you have to give me some players who are objectively better in the AFC. I only have two. So again, to say he's the sixth best quarterback in the AFC, we're already going down the wrong path. But let me finish. Let me finish. If, uh, and the way he plays, I don't know on a cold weather game in January on the road with him having a ball, running it and all the pounding he takes. I don't know if that is sustainable. So I would say no. A, a cold weather game? We play in Baltimore, dog. What are you talking about? Come on, stop. We're not in Atlanta, dog. We play in Baltimore. He playing cold weather games in a regular season, but hey, whatever. Excuse me, Vince. Yeah, go ahead. I just need a quick answer. Yeah. You just don't throw out that six quarterbacks in one conference. Yeah. It's better than Lamar. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> give us six. Yeah, sure. Can. That's all. Burrow. Feel free. Burrow. Be Burrow. Keep going. Okay. Oh. Shout out to Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith might save it this segment here. Burrow's not objectively better than Lamar Jackson. He had one good year. Herbert. Herbert is not objectively better than Lamar Jackson. He has two good years, no MVP level seasons. And again, they both have better supporting cast. Gone. Russell Wilson. Keep Russell gone. Wilson is not Go objectively home. better right now. Again, Russell Wilson hasn't uh -huh, been great cool. in a long time. Uh -huh. There's another one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Josh, and Josh Allen. Okay. There you go. Okay. That's do I five, get an apology? Six, I said six best. You said six better. You said do I get an apology? Better. You said there was six no, I said six better. Six That's the only five. Oh, sorry. He agrees with him. Sorry. He is not a good. We're leading him to heck no. I've had two of them you were hesitant on, and you know. I put that like, for a second. Going, go go ahead. Right. Right. They're, they're, they're stunning for a reason. Go ahead, doggy. That's go ahead. the reason. The thought. No great receiver. Okay. And, the, and he's this four or five That's true. Go ahead, Sam. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I think that, uh, to your point, Matt, uh, Matt Dog, you have a great tight end. You have a big tight end. You have Mark Andrews. So you have your big target there. Mark so Andrews. Rashad Bateman, late in the season, stepped up big. For me, I think that the Ravens can make a deep playoff run, and here's why. Last year, November 28th, they were 8-3. and three. They were leading the AFC. And then Come on. What happened, not only did they lose, they lost their last six games in a row, but their quarterback got hurt. Lamar Jackson got hurt. They were 8-3 and three without half of their Let's go. being I show. Everybody was injured. Gus Edwards was hurt. J.K. Dobbins was hurt. Ronnie Stanley, all pro tackle, was injured. Marcus Peters, like Marlon Humphrey, you name it. Everybody was hurt. Now everybody's healthy. Everybody's healthy now. Everybody's back now. And so for me, um, that's part of the reason why they'll be better this year, but also deep, deep playoff run. Look at how they're built. 
like on the back end, look at who they're building on the back end. You, like we mentioned some of the names, Marlon Humphrey at corner. You got, uh, you got, uh, 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 you got, you drafted Kyle Hamilton at safety. Trey, you, you signed Marcus Williams at safety. Kyle Fuller now maybe playing slot as your third uh, option. There's so many. Marcus Peters is healthy, so you're built to defend the Bengals. You're built to defend some of these passing teams. For me, you. Get- and that was the point of them building that again. Great, great points. Acho, he, you're doing your thing, buddy. Get a healthy Lamar Jackson, put on 15, 20 pounds of muscles, getting better, getting healthier. You have a dominant defense that's been top three in the league three out of the last four years. They are built for November, December, and January football. I think they are going to make a deep playoff run. I'm going to roll with Doggy on this one. Aww. I'm going to tell you that I think you're wrong. I'm not going to go as far as to say there's six quarterbacks better than Lamar Jackson. I would tell you that I'm more confident than six quarterbacks throwing the football better than him. But we know in today's game, particularly when you're a dual threat, there's value. He's not bad at throwing the football. I mean, it's, it's these narratives. Look at the advanced stats. He's He is up there. When you look at the advanced stats, again, look look at the stats, guys. Don't just say things. And he and when you look at the advanced stats and everything he does, remember, uh, you know, every single part of the team is based around him, you know, and so it's a little crazy. But do that, and even though he's not the passer that a Justin Herbert or Joe Burrow is or Russell Wilson is, etc., uh, uh, the fact of the matter is, when you look at Lamar Jackson running the football from the quarterback position. He's the most electrifying talent the history of the game has ever seen. Nobody okay. He's ever been able to run the football the way that he does. Back okay. In I like seasons, that. If he didn't get hurt the last four games of last season, he had another thousand because he had over 700 yards running with four games to go. He was definitely going to do it for a third straight year. We know what he brings to the table. I got questions. You traded Hollywood Brown. All right, you got rid of him. Okay, you, you traded him for an additional first-round pick. You still got Bateman there. I get that. You still got Mark Andrews there. I got that. J.K. Dobbins. Uh, you, you know, the Hollywood Brown thing is, is real because, again, whatever you say about Hollywood Brown, and you know, and I'm not, I'm, I've am i been critical of him. You know, I don't think he can catch, but um, he's fast. I mean, and, and there's no replacement for speed. So, you know, that's that's real. You know, that's real. I got all of that. But the reality is everything comes down to Lamar Jackson. And I think that the AFC is too good this year to just shove that aside. In the AFC West alone, all four teams are a legit threat to make the postseason. All four teams, any of them can win a division. Any of them can end up in a wild card spot. Okay. Thanks for watching. All right. So, again, um, how do I feel? I'm going to say, heck no. You know, again, too too hard. You know, Mad Dog and Steven are entertaining. But on this one, I think they missed the boat. Um, again, we're going to have a fundamental disagreement if we're going to just say that there's six quarterbacks better than Lamar Jackson. To be 100% honest, we're going to have a fundamental disagreement. Um, because I've seen Lamar Jackson play at an MVP level. I have never seen those other players play at an MVP level. I've only seen two of them. Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. And Josh Allen couldn't beat out Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson to, you know, get that MVP. So to, you know, to be fair, let's, let's be honest, right? Let's, let's be real. So I'm now again, better teams, maybe better quarterbacks. No. And if that's what we're going to, if that, if we're saying the quarterback is the most important part of making it deep in the playoffs, then we're going to have a fundamental disagreement. So I'm going to say, heck no, you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, again, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Go Ravens.